Hey everybody, this is Brian with Vermilion Enterprises. Today is May 27th, 2024. It's towards the end of business. The market has recently closed for the day due to it being a holiday. Uh, it closed at $31.72 per ounce for silver. And we'll talk about gold here in a minute. Based on some reports that came out late last week and over the weekend, I think we might see a run here on gold and silver again. Uh, which is amazing given out what they are. So we're getting prepared here in the shop. We spent all day processing material. Tim put together a buy and now video that's gonna go live at 8 a.m. tomorrow, Eastern time. We are open Monday through Fridays, uh, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern, and Saturdays 9 to 2 p.m. Eastern. So uh, based on what uh, I've read and then uh, you know, hearing from the people that are supposedly in the know, uh, this could be a very volatile week. Uh, inflationary numbers don't look good and uh, retail numbers do not look good. So uh, we're gonna run a premiums video, short and sweet today, off of the boards. Uh, well, by the time this goes live, no one's gonna be here to answer your phone calls, so please don't call in, just be prepared tomorrow uh, to transact. And tell the people how we accept payment. Cash, wire, Zelle, and personal checks up to $5,000 with a two-week hold. That's it. All right. So, as of right now, this is all subject to change. We reserve the right to change the premiums on the fly as the market changes. And there'll probably be some premium changes over the next week if what I am hearing comes to be uh, true. All right, Silver Eagles, we're buying them at the spot price plus $3 per ounce. That's for solid date BU retail friendly material. Can't stress that enough. Solid date, what do I mean by that? I mean, they come in tubes of 20 and every coin in the tube needs to be the same date. It needs to be a fresh uh, tube, basically. You know, not a lot of milk spots on it, scratches, Tony, that type of thing. Solid date, so every coin in the tube has to be the same date to get that price point. Uh, we do buy all quality and mismatched uh, American Silver Eagles. They are at a lesser price though, both the buy and the sell. And we do have a bunch in stock. And as you will be able to tell in tomorrow's video, Tim has a bunch of off quality Silver Eagles that are gonna be offered for sale at what, Tim? Spot plus 250? Yes, sir. All right, buying off quality is a spot plus 250. Can't beat that. All right, uh, one ounce foreign silver. We're buying at the spot price minus a dollar per ounce. We're selling at the spot price plus a dollar per ounce. One, out, one ounce rounds, five ounce bars, 10 ounce bars, and kilo bars. We're buying at the spot price minus one dollar per ounce. And we're selling them at the spot price per ounce. Now remember, under one ounce, five ounce, and 10 ounce, if you buy less than $500 here in the state of Florida, we do have to collect six and a half percent sales tax. It's just the way it is. 100 ounce bars, we are now buying at the spot price minus $1.25, and we're selling them at the spot price minus 25 cents per ounce. So that's uh, here in the shop, and if you want, we'll ship them out if we got them. A lot of this stuff is being, uh, uh, a lot of this stuff is just being run right to the refinery. Uh, we got a big drop off that's going to be happening tomorrow again. So if we got 100 ounce bricks, we'll be selling them at spot minus. 25 cents per ounce. We are buying them at spot minus a dollar and a quarter per ounce now. Junk 90, no change. We're still buying at spot price minus a dollar per ounce and selling them at the spot price of silver. What do I expect to change uh, over the next uh, week? Uh, a lot. I think it's very possible to change. So two things that I would keep an eye on, uh, Silver Eagles and Junk 90. I think they're probably the most vulnerable right now in the way of uh, probably could see a price reduction on both of them. I saw Silver Eagles uh, starting to be offered at a lower price by the distributors. So uh, we'll see, not a significantly lower price, but a lower price. And if the, uh, the market keeps going upward, it, uh, those premiums will probably come down as they should. So anyone add to the silver board, Tim? 
Uh, just real quick on the American Silver Eagles, the solid date tubes, because I know there's going to be at least one person. Oh, can the 2021s be a Type 1 and a Type 2? Or does it have to be all Type 1, all Type, all one, type all 2? All Type 2, that's right, solid design tubes. All right. That, that's about it. All right, sounds good. Let's go hit the gold board. All right. So right now a gold closed at 2,351. No changes here. Uh, as of right now, we'll keep an eye on it, but I will run on down real quick. Uh, one tenth ounce gold eagles, we're buying at melt plus 6%, selling at melt plus 13%. Uh, quarter ounce gold eagles, we're buying at melt plus 3%, selling at melt plus 10%. Half ounce gold eagles, we're buying at melt plus a point. And we're selling that melt plus 8%. One ounce gold eagles and one ounce gold buffaloes are currently buying at the spot price of gold and selling them for the spot price of gold plus 3% per coin. Foreign gold, we're buying at the spot price or melt, depending on what it is, minus 2%. And we're selling that at the spot price of gold or melt. So uh, uh, if you're not sure about how they use the difference between melt and spot, check out the video that Tim has pinned to the top of this channel and also embedded in the description of this video. There's a great tutorial that is given on how to calculate the difference between spot and melt and also when to use spot versus when to use melt and describing the value of your fractional precious metals. And also that same video gives you a great uh, understanding of how to calculate the time space value on Jump 90 if you're unsure uh, if you're unsure of how to do so. Last but not least, Platinum Eagles, we're buying at spot plus 100 and selling that spot plus 170 per ounce. Out of everything on the board, I think the Platinum Eagles are going to be the most vulnerable. In fact, they probably we probably will see a premium reduction on these maybe even as soon as tomorrow. So we will see, I think the, uh, the jig is up on Platinum Eagles. I think that the demand is kind of waning to the point where distributors are becoming heavy in them. So we shall see though, but uh, on this board, I think the only thing that's really vulnerable at this point are Platinum Eagles uh, with a premium reduction. Anything you want to add there, Tim? Nothing to add. All right, sounds good. So by the time this video goes live, uh, we'll pretty much be in wind down or we'll be closed here today on Monday, but we'll be open again tomorrow at 9 a.m. And check out the uh, Buy Now video that Tim has coming in tomorrow at, uh, should launch sometime between 8 and 9 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, there's some good buys in there. I think you guys and gals will be super excited about. What do you think, Tim? Spoilers. Spoilers, all right. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, we are Vermilion Enterprises 5324 Spring Hill Drive in sunny, hot Spring Hill, Florida. It was 104 degrees yesterday when I got out of the woods, and uh, boy did I feel it. So it, uh, it definitely zapped me. Uh, I was, was about 10 hours in the woods yesterday, and it was, uh, it was smoking hot. So today, I'm still hot. It's going to be this way for months. Uh, this is abnormally hot for us here in Spring Hill. We're used to like low 90s in, you know, in June and July. Being over 100 for a stretch in May, I, that's, that's hotter than normal. Unfortunately, uh, it probably will breed a, a bad storm season this year for uh, the Gulf and uh, the Atlantic because the warm waters is best, basically petro for the storms. So uh, it's not good in that sense. But uh, yeah, and there's no rain either. That's the other thing too. Uh, it's like a brown dust bowl out there right now. So uh, definitely a high fire warnings for the area right now, unfortunately. So enough with the weather update. I'm the ugliest weather girl you'll ever see. So let's uh, let the people get back to enjoying their Memorial Day.